Praise be to the Flying Spaghetti Monster. Today's Saturday, October 12th, 2013. One ounce of silver is $23. One Bitcoin is $125. Peace News Now is brought to you by Bitcoin from friends of WeUseCoins.com. Bitcoin is the world's favorite alternative currency, and it's quickly becoming the default currency of the internet. Learn more today at WeUseCoins.com. An agnostic man in Rancho Cordova was shocked to learn that every city council meeting begins with prayer. Steve Vincent thinks it's ridiculous for people in government to spend their time praying together in a public meeting. To point that out, he offered to give an invocation as a minister of the Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster. Since the secular government government technically has to allow equal exercise of all faiths, they accepted his offer. Here are some of the excerpts from his prayer, which he delivered with open eyes. Quote, I'm not sure what the point of praying here is. You're an agenda item on a government meeting. I'm just, I'm not sure that's what you had in mind for prayer, God. I know you want us to do what's right and to treat our neighbors with respect, so I have to wonder if our non-believing neighbors are being respected if we pray here. This story brought to you by by friends of blockchain.info. Download the free Bitcoin wallet at blockchain.info. There's a 70-foot granite wall in New York City which is covered in the names of the men killed during the invasion of Vietnam. This week, on the 12th anniversary of the invasion of Afghanistan, the Vietnam veterans gathered at their memorial to remember, to sing songs, and to read aloud the names of those who died. But police had other plans for the surviving vets. As they read names from the wall, police began to arrive arrest attendees, many of them senior citizens, and began shoving them into a paddy wagon. The attendees were calling for an end to the violence and interventionism, but were arrested because their vigil went past 10 o'clock p.m. Law enforcers stood ready to pad their monthly quotas by making some arrests. Jeff Durkin of We Are Change Connecticut live-streamed the arrests. Another person tweeted a picture of the arrests and reported that the arrests began while the names were still being read prompting people to sing Which side are you on, boys? Which side are you on? Tell me The memorial wall was built using tax dollars, but as PoliceStateUSA.com put it, no veterans vigil is going to stand in the way of police racking up some arrest numbers. The right to peaceably assemble on public property evidently does not exist after 10 p.m. Former wrestler Jesse Ventura is running for president in 2016. He recently said that if elected, he would immediately pardon Chelsea Manning and Edward Snowden. Ventura also pledged to close down all U.S. military bases overseas, including the naval base in Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, where the United States keeps terrorism suspects indefinitely. Obama pledged to shut down Gitmo in his first year as president, but he didn't. What are we doing there? Jesse Ventura asked. He said he'll only run for president in 2016 with the support of radio personality Howard Stern. The former governor vowed not to seek money from lobbyists and said the radio host could use his show to raise funds. Ventura was in Washington to promote his new book, The They Killed Our President, which alleges that the 1963 Kennedy assassination was a conspiracy in reaction to his efforts to reduce war. In other news, the Blush family is having a fundraiser to their new, first-of-its-kind, docu-reality TV show, Sovereign Living. Sovereign Living follows the Blush family as they transition from a lifestyle of hardcore political activism to the farm life. Rather than fighting a system they find tyrannical, John and Kat want to lead by example and live a sovereign lifestyle. This means providing their own food, water, energy, and community defense needs. In an age of large governmental influence, the Blush family aims to explore and learn about how they can take care of themselves and their community voluntarily. Themes include self-sufficiency, resolving crime without police, alternative economies, alternative education, home birth, and natural health. Sovereign Living is opting for sovereign distribution. They've come to viewers directly to ask for your support in making this vision a reality. Support the Indiegogo campaign today and reinforce these gutsy activists and help model sovereign living for others. Peace News Now is on the next news network and is brought to you by friends of WeUseCoins.com. Share this episode with your friends, and if you enjoyed it, send some Bitcoin to donate.peacenewsnow.com. I'm Derek J, reminding you that peace is the way.